Hi, it's Megan. I got three pieces from the Urban Decay uh, Pulp Fiction collection, and I'm doing three videos, the lip pencil, the lipstick, and the eyeshadow palette, and this is for the lipstick. I have it on right now. I have it on over the um, lip pencil, and I'm going to take it off on video and put it on without the pencil at the end of the video if you're curious. So what did I think? So this is $22 for 0.09 ounce, which is a little bit small. A lot of lipsticks are about 1, 0.12 is the average. And it's described as a deep blood red. And I thought it was a very rich, medium dark red. And it has kind of cool, not super cool undertones. So this is it right here. And it's just a very rich. This basically isn't super glossy. Uh, it's not matte either, but it's not as glossy as some of the others. And it's very creamy. Um, it's almost maybe a little too soft for some people. Some people might want a stiffer red formula. I did not get any bleeding. I didn't get any creasing. I got about, um, I guess about four hours wear. I, I rarely wore it without the lip pencil and the lip pencil is waterproof. And so together they last an incredibly long time. Um, but I didn't get uneven wear. Sometimes with threads I get unevenness right in here. I did not get that with this one. And I did get some staining with it. In fact, I still have a little staining. I put these on my wrist and wear them all day to see if they stain here because it's easier to see a stain. Red, really obvious, but with most other colors it's easier to see a stain on your wrist. So I'm also going to compare it to the lip pencil and then the other Urban Decay reds I have just so you can see them. So what do I think about this? I just love this look with the red lips and um, the more neutral eyes and I'm learning to like the red lips with the smoky eyes. It's just, if you like red, this is just a rich, deep, pigmented, kind of cool based red. So there's the pencil and there's the lipstick. And then I'm just going to show, I, I, didn't, I didn't think these were, this was a super close shade to any other Urban Decay that I had. That it was closest. So this right here is a little sample of 69. So there's 69. It's a little bit pinker. And I also have, I don't have all the reds. I also have Gash and I have F Bomb. I'm sorry, it was closest to F Bomb. Not 69. 69 was pinker. F Bomb is right there. And it's not quite as blackened, it's a little bit lighter. This one's got a little bit more black in it, which is why everyone at first I think thought it was going to be like gash. I didn't think it was that much like gash. This, and you know, these have this type of an application. And so that's gash. And gash just has more of a blackened blue, almost a purple undertone to it. So I don't know if I showed, but I will. And I'm going to put it on. It comes in a black case. I'm just going to take this off. Every single video I've ever done, except for maybe one, always forgotten to bring a Kleenex to blot my lips. So I've got pretty pigmented lips. You can already see there's a little stain from the red. I haven't been wearing it that long. It's such a pigmented color. I really didn't see a great application. Uh, don't do that. I didn't see a big difference with the pencil versus without the pencil just because it is so pigmented. It does wear better with the pencil. So again, this is the color Eye Pencil Gash 69 F Bomb. I think that's it. Please subscribe on YouTube if you have thoughts or comments or questions. I would love to hear it. And... I also have a novel on YouTube called Masks, which is about makeup and the masks we wear, and I will put links to that video in the description. Too.